let's just back up for a moment and think about this. There must be something causing this decline in our health as humans. And I think that uh, possible culprits are increased red meat, which we know is not actually increasing at all. Uh, it could be saturated fat, which has gone down in the human diet. Could it be processed sugars? Absolutely. That's probably playing a role. Could it be linoleic acid? It could be. We'll look at the data regarding that. Uh, and I'm open to any of uh, your other ideas regarding this. Some people believe it's EMFs. I don't think that's a major factor. I think it could be things like glyphosate and pesticides, though that's hard to assay as well. And the exposure is certainly increasing over the last uh, century. And there are many people who believe that's a major factor. I think it's prudent to avoid those as well. So we need to think about what the major culprit here is so that we can take action and avoid it as a population. If we simply wave our hands, like I suggested earlier in the podcast, and say it's ultra-processed foods, then we don't have a clear message for people and how will we ever make significant change. If we can really do good studies based on compelling hypotheses that show that something linoleic acid is the problem, then we can either legislate or develop educational materials and get things like Tostitos and chips cooked in linoleic acid off the shelves. Um, interestingly, there has been a massive shift in what French fries are cooked in. You guys may have seen the reel that I did when I was in Phoenix. I went to Smashburger and a number of other restaurants and asked them what they cooked their food in. The majority of places cooked in canola or soybean oil. One restaurant said they cooked in a combination of canola and olive oil. I wonder about the quality of their olive oil. I went into a Greek restaurant that said that they cooked in olive oil, but it actually they cooked in olive pomace oil, which is very low quality olive oil. It's from the discarded pulp of olives. It's not actually the first pressing or a good quality olive oil. So they told me it was olive oil and it was lower quality olive pomace oil, which is probably highly oxidized. One place, a Mongolian grill, even told me they soak the grill in canola oil overnight. And I went to Smashburger. They said they cook their burgers in tallow or they put butter on the grill and they cook their French fries in tallow, which I thought was great. And then I actually did a little more research and talked to the corporate for Smashburger and realized that they cook the fries in a mixture of tallow and canola oil. So better than McDonald's, which is gonna cook in either canola, cottonseed, or peanut oil, pure seed oil, which is highly oxidized, but they were using some tallow in the fryer at Smashburger. Look, I don't think eating French fries is a good thing in general. I don't think we should be deep frying our foods in general because of breakdown products of linoleic acid like HNE, something I'll talk about a lot as we get into this podcast. And Deep frying foods does that. When I was at the University of Arizona hospital cafeteria, I asked one of the nice ladies working in the cafeteria what kind of oil their food was cooked in. She said canola oil. They had a lot of fried foods. They had chicken fingers and French fries. This is the kind of stuff we serve people in the hospital. I have no idea why. And she said proudly, she changes the canola fryer oil every two days. And I thought, she's proud of the fact that she's changing the canola fryer oil every two days but you're deep frying foods in oil for two days straight. That's going to create so many toxic aldehydes, so many breakdown products of linoleic acid, including HNE and others, which we know are implicated in massive problems for humans. So this is what's being served in restaurants, cafeterias, in hospitals, in medical schools. It's everywhere. Um, I think it could be a major problem for humans. If it's not, we need to understand that and figure out what the major problem for humans really is. I found this article to be really interesting. 4-hydroxynonanol, which is HNE, a toxic aldehyde in French fries from fast food restaurants. This is an article from 2015 in the Journal uh, of the American Oil Chemistry Society looking at HNE in French fries. So they said, frequently consumed foods containing considerable amounts of HNE, a toxic aldehyde, may be a public health concern since HNE toxicity is related to a number of common pathological conditions. Yeah, I would say so. They say earlier in the abstract, French fries, which contain higher levels of linoleic acid, also contained more HNE. It's clear that HNE is produced during the heating process of the frying oils and is incorporated into French fries. Okay, let that sink in for a second. We have toxic aldehydes, HNE. I don't think anyone really believes that 4-hydroxynonanol HNE is a benign thing for humans. I think most people would agree that HNE is a problem for humans. Where does HNE come from? It comes from the breakdown of linoleic acid in the human body or outside of the human body. Eating foods cooked in fryer oil, eating deep fried foods, especially foods cooked in oils in a fryer that are high in linoleic acid is absolutely problematic for humans. Is it any wonder that when we look at junk food consumption, hamburgers, McDonald's, that that looks to be bad for humans and the red meat gets blamed when probably it was the French fries 
or the high fructose corn syrup in the milkshake that are causing the problem, not the meat on the bun. Although I know you guys, the meat on the bun at McDonald's is not the highest quality. I get it. The bread is problematic too. There are seed oils in the special sauce. But if you go to McDonald's, the burger patty is the least bad part of that equation. Absolutely the least bad part of that equation. The French fries cooked in oil with high levels of h and &E are probably one of the most damaging parts of that. But how often do you hear about that? And every single hospital cafeteria I went to had those on offer. And no one would claim that those are healthy for humans.